Bro, I kind of just... You're the first person that's come on here that I, I genuinely feel like you're not going to stop until you die. You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Killer Keller podcast. Right. Yeah, yeah, go. <clears throat> Without further to do for those who have been waiting. This is the Killer Keller podcast live and direct. Central London or Central as you need to be, should be, or even want to be. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. We are definitely in effect. It's an evening. It's a nice evening. So what better opportunity than to have a bit of a legacy holder inside the place. SV. TKS, WT, I'm missing what? There's so SMC. Many, SMC. Oh my God, he'll run them off. This is Snap Inside the Place. What are we saying, Safe start, no, nice, nice. How are you doing? You good, yeah? yeah? No, I'm wicked, bro. Even better now, mate. Yeah, that's right. I is that what? right? It feels like... Uh... Minimum MC Snap on them. No, I'm joking. <laughs> We've only just met, and it's a real pleasure. No, it was. You. It was good to meet you, brother. Yeah, yeah. safe man. Yeah. yeah, I, 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 you know, I very rarely like put this platform in a place where you know p- people reach out, and you know, your name has been bounded around the uh, the, 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 the 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 podcast on a numerous occasions. I've seen a couple of people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it goes without saying, doesn't it? I mean, hey, bro, bro, I'm humbled. <laughs> I'm done. I had to say that. Sorry, go on. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, ever as yeah, well. Yeah, hold tight, ever. I'm humbled, bro. And you got your beautiful missus in the place. How are you, darling? Hold tight, Jane. Jane in the house. Jane in the house. Hold tight, Jane. Who are you eating there? <laughs> Pills. Oh, okay, okay, that's Pills. right. Pills. <laughs> Painkillers. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Your minds, people, your minds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. For those of you that don't know, and I mean yours is in the bovine public who are out there intensively wanted to know more about this uh, this particular episode. Snap is um he's a true, he's a real one. He's 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 up and at them um and uh, all over the place at the moment, aren't you, my I'm mate? Still doing it, mate. Still yeah. racking my paint. Mm. I bought paint once and really hurt me, man. Give me a sour taste in my mouth. <laughs> Worse than these K's. Yeah, we we well, uh, uh, we work in uh, you know in the the, the reflections of uh, a bygone era, but you were very much still still holding. living. I still live yeah. there. Still lived in the night. I think it's ninety six. No, so it feels like feels like no. Like, yeah, yeah like, I still live and graft like it was how we used to do. It. Yeah, is Even, that part of the is that part of the honor of doing graph? Would you say? I think if you're a real writer, you don't pay for paint. You still go out. You. I do street bombs, I do trains, I do track sides. Just still do it like I was. And even people say, wow, mate, you ain't even changed. And I in 20 god many years. There's a, or someone showed me a piece the other day that I'd done in the 90s and it's still there. No one's taking it out. It's faded as fuck. Yeah, I would say that your your style or you know, I I remember the name in so many different places and it's yeah, what that that what that means to me and i'm sure to, to a lot of other people is that not only your relevance but also the the style the, the id, era defining I, I that's what i'm saying I for feel london like a 90s style yeah yeah people say a 90s london style whatever that is that's what i do i can't do wild style i can't do characters i can't do don't laugh at me mate <laughs> <laughs> all right when I told you to do peace and you did Jane. I, oh, she asked me to do a peace in the back garden and I'd done a Jane instead of peace. When she said peace, I thought she meant peace, no, not... No, you didn't. I told you. I <laughs> well, I hey, 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 no now. arguments now, no, kids. No, come no, on. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, anyway, like uh, <laughs> London <laughs> old school style, yeah. that's what I've got. I can't do characters, I can't do wild style, I can't do anything but just nice letters and nice colours and that seems to go a long way. Yeah, it does. You know? It does. Colours are an aspect, aren't they, that... Um, there's there's different obviously there's there's importance that's put on each an individual element of graph but colors has become this thing um that's 
because of the the quality and standards and the variations in cans now, it's almost um, it's almost a given that you you know you can do the the, the math and work out. But back in the day, it was a whole different beast. Oh, mate, back in the day, you didn't have the paint like you had now. The paint now is just amazing. But still, I don't really get hold of that because I steal my paint. So right. back in the day. Used to get bunt lacks, which was amazing, belt ons, which was amazing, and jap lacks, which was amazing, and the rest was mediocre. But now you've got amazing paint, but you've got to buy it. You know, mm. and it hurts. You know, you go to some of the shops actually, I get Nick Craig and Rose, they're like twelve pounds a tin. They're better than any graph paint. What what paint uh, what paint's that again? Say again? Craig and Rose. Craig and Rose. Yeah, lovely fucking paint. Yeah. Get chrome in that or black or white laughing. Nice outline. Actually, I used it for an outline the other night. Nice acting. Do you do, you, do you, uh, apply the same old school uh, techniques to mixing colours and stuff? If you haven't got a particular colour, do you do, you do all the kind of old school tricks? No, basically, when I go, I'll try and use sort of light colours for a base fill. Mm. Or if I do dark colours for a base fill, I'll do a light outline. And I'm not one of them people who takes a bit of paper to the um, place with them. I was like, oh, and copies it. I always do off the head. Mm. Off the head? Yeah. <laughs> Because I, I write with some people and they're bringing out a piece of paper and they're like, yeah, look what I'm going to do. And it's like, well, you, why are you bringing a piece of paper? It should be in your head. But then at the same time, you've got that 10,000 hours of decades of, of writing, you know? I suppose I forget. It comes so easy now, I suppose, now. I just go... Yeah. Oh, I love it. And it helps me clear my head, you know? I go out... You know, I went out the other night at 3 o'clock in the morning, done... What did I do? I done, so I'm like, well, um, I don't know... NSV, I was going to go to sleep and I thought, fuck it, you know, about six o'clock in the morning, went out and done a TKS. Mm. That's two in one night. I've done four in the other night, you know. Boy. But, yeah, yeah, I do put the effort in now. You say it with such passe kind of like, oh, yeah, just that's what I do. I, I mean, does, does that come, does that, does that, like, does with age come that, that level of, I, no, it's just it becomes the way you are. It's in more no. less of an instinct, and you just go on autopilot. No, I think I think this has just always been me. Really, I don't give a fuck. I'll just go out and do it in front. Well, not in front of anyone, but <laughs> I'll just go out there and do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, then let's go back to those days. So, where did it all begin? Where did it all begin Wait, for the stand? I remember back in the day, I started writing. Yeah. You know, started writing. Yeah. And uh, with poet. And didn't know no writers, used to see TKS up and uh, like, oh dear, Misto, we used to write Mist at the time. And used to like, you know, fucking want to know who they were, see them up. And then I bumped into Char. Me, Char, Speak, Reva, Esno, Vinos. That was an opportunist meet, wasn't it? It was mad. It was, I bumped into them at Burnt Oak Station. Me and Poet was on the platform, and I see some geezer like sort of pop his head out from behind the platform. I'm thinking, oh, mate, there's someone there. Mm. And then the train pulls in. Stay there. Yeah, stay there. I'm staying there. I'll just um, get this because you're facing more that way. So I'm going to tilt it that way. That's it. Now you're there. That's it. That's all. You don't have to go forward. Mike, check one, two. Yeah, you're good. No. You're good. You're good. Now you can carry on as well. You're good. Yeah, no. So we see um, Char, Reva, Speak. Mm. Like about six of them, and we was like, right, there's people there. And we realised there was bush bombing. I didn't know what bush bomb was. So anyway, we got chatting. And me and Char, we stayed mates for years. Like, used to come out racking with us. We used to go out painting, done bear yards with him, me, him, my idea. I used to go racking with him in my first car, I remember. So this is like 95. Imagine that, 95. Wow. What's that? That's 25. Is that 25 years ago? It is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's a long time ago, wasn't it? But anyway, yeah. yeah. And for those that don't know, what is what's defined bush bombing? What's bush bombing? Bush bombing is like when a train pulls into a station and you're on the other side of the platform and then you yeah, tag up the other side. Gotcha. But what we used to do was get one of us to stand and block up the door. So you put your foot in the door. This is when there was guards on the train. Mm. So you put your foot in the door, the doors ain't closing, and you've got like five of you on the other side of the train just tagging the fuck out of it, trying to get the whole fucking length. Wow. So you put your foot in the door, the guard has to come up and see, why the fuck ain't the doors closing? Mm. And then, oh, sorry, mate, yeah, and take your foot out of the door and you can smell the paint, sorted, done, job done. Oh, so you can... Next one comes in. That's interesting. Uh. Or the other one, we used to do burnt oak on the other side of the platform at the backs. Me and Poet used to sit there so long 
the, the trains coming back on the other side still had our, our fronts on it. You know, we've done... So you've been there for so long that you... Yeah. yeah. And I've heard other people talk about the old Northern lines when you used to um, sit in the middle carriage, you know, the driver's carriage in the middle. Yeah, yeah, you of course. sit in there, smoke weed, open the door. When you went into the tunnels, you open the door, you can spray the other side of the platform. I've heard stories about this because obviously, like, Back then, the trains were a hell of a lot different. For those of you that are listening in for of a younger Stop age... Stop rustling I, in fucking sweets, man. I was, uh, uh, I was privy to this conversation a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, I heard someone say it. Yeah, so I'm not trying to work out who it was. It was a long time ago. But yeah, that, 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 that cabin... And people were just having parties in them places, weren't they? Basically, yeah. You'd sit in there, smoke your weed, you'd go all the way down to the end of the line and come back. And the, the thing was, when you're in the stations with mm. the, in the tunnels... You know, when you're on the platform and you can see people's tags on the other side, you're like, fuck me, how did the fuck did yeah, they get yeah, over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they done it. Well, well, most of them. Well, yeah, yeah. But if you don't know, then... Yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. fucking yeah, amazing. You're, just, you're like, yeah. oh, some nut has just gone across there and tagged it up. like. But yeah. those who know, that's why they're all in the same spot. Yeah. You've got about four tags all on top of each other. Because that's where the door stops. You open the door. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Mad. Bad, yeah. Mad. So this was kind of the, 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 the beginning of the... Uh, the relationship with Char and the, 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 the whole graph thing, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And then I, I must have met Zonk and Funz and that. This is when Zonk used to write Bonk. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I know idea and that. And these were youngsters to me then. I was about 18, 17, 18, and they was mm. about 14. And these two little youths are like, yeah, we know idea. I was like, shut up, you boys know idea. Yeah, we'll take you to his house now. So they took me to his house. No answer on the door. <laughs> so, yeah, you mugs in, fucking knowing what you're on about, innit? Like, so... We'd gone off a couple of days later. Yeah, can we go around ideas? I said, no, nah, you're chatting shit, innit? No, nah, anyway, they took me around and yeah, he was in. I met idea. Was um, your mind blown? Yeah, the yeah, fact of that course these I kids. Was. Had... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, well, the fact I met these kids and these mm. was Fonz and Zonk and that and mm. a few others. And they'd just got done for um, graffiti in up Hendon School. It was in the papers and everything. They all went there in, in the night. Oh, can I have a snout, please? Is that, is that, can I have a snout? Of course you can. It's your podcast, my brother. I know, I know. That's thanks, isn't it? You've got an ash trader as well. Yeah, it's ash Jane, if you could uh, yeah, do the honours, haven't it? Yeah, so, that's, well, that's what I'm saying. That's how I met all them, like, you know, all the um, idea and, and right. um, idea, Bosch, and any, they, I became part of the crews then, you know what I mean? Put the work in, we just go out racking, go out painting trains. Mm. 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 It's funny, because knowing a little more about the characters within Graf... I well, now you know the... half of them people I've just mentioned there, isn't it? Like... Yeah, man, a lot of them, are, you know, have been sat where mm. you're sat. And, and one thing that, and I'm sure a lot of viewers that have checked this show before will, will testify that the, 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 the vision of all of you guys going out and doing your thing, it becomes more true, realer in my head, knowing the, the characters You've individually. The people now, yeah. it, and, and, it, and, and it tickles me, because I'm just like, yo, those are the guys, right? You know, it's yeah, almost yeah, like you, you fill in the blanks when you're mm. just, just from the outside looking in, you know what I mean? Well, it was like, at the very beginning, when I see them TKS reaches in Edgeware, old school TKS, Total mm. Chaos, this is before I knew any writers, yeah? Mm. And I'm thinking, oh, look, to Total Chaos, that's a bad crew, I wonder who mm. them are. Like, not thinking that, like, two years down the line, I'll be in that crew, you know, and rolling with them, like, Tuba and Bombs, me rock and that, they're the ones that let me into TK. Mad. So I've been out racking with them, but I used to hate racking with them because they'd just go into the shop, pick up spray cans in front of the shopkeepers and walk out. Mm. How did that make you feel? Like, fucking hell, get back to the car and get ready to go. Really? <laughs> yeah, because it was pretty... No, because when I go racking... Ab ab abrasive. Yeah, yeah, but you're looking at two fucking six-foot black guys and the shopkeepers just was allowing them, innit? You know, oh, God, I didn't see that. Oh. Yeah, I get you, yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, fuck me, yeah. Mate, the mentalist, I used to, I used to go racking enough back in the day. I had to, all the good plots, yeah? Mm. But going racking with them, like tuber and bombs and that, oh, oh, I remember it was a nightmare. I just remember, oh, I ain't going to get too much paint today, but I'm doing it for a favour for them because mm. they'll come back with a few tins. But then, like, if I went with Idea or Zonk or someone like that, we'd go out, come back with 150 tins easy. Mm. Mm. That was sick. I remember going one shop with me, Zonk and Fonz, Oxford Art Shop, in the basement, and I nicked about, I think about 40 do it's. Mm. Them little spray cans, but mm -hmm. still 40, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. I think Zonk had about 30, and Fonz nicked two. I don't know why he only nicked two, but he was a bit of a prank. The operations back in the day were crazy, like, from what I understand. I mean, what? the prolificness of each individual, one of you, it was so, it was in that pocket of time, it was so intense, wasn't it? I mean, 
How right. often do, would you go out and rack? How often would you go every out? Every day, every day. I used to work. I used to work in at five o'clock in the evening uh, till ten o'clock. Right. Uh, we'd go out early in the day, about ten o'clock, meet up, and go out. Imagine so we'll just we'll go. Right, we'll aim for Cambridge. We'll go. We'll drive to Cambridge, mm. get to Cambridge, and then hit Cambridge, and then do all the little towns on the way back. Mm. Imagine doing all the little stops, coming back with everything: drink, paint, you know, clothes if you could get it. I don't know, food, everything. One time, um, we got a fucking no. Look, 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 look. We went to do Uxbridge Yard. Me, who was it? Me, Fonz, Idea, and Zonk, and we nicked barbecue, steaks, burgers, everything. So before we went in yard, we went on tracks. We got under a bridge. We lit up this barbecue. We got weed, beers, everything. We're having a barbecue before we go in yard. <laughs> Damn, that sounds like a up. golden era, don't yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, like, yeah. Couldn't you couldn't imagine that happening? Well, I'd do it tomorrow, mate, but it's just I've got no one to come with me. I'll sit there and have a barbie on my own. But <laughs> Now, listen, I went there um, <laughs> about a year ago on my own, and I took a lo load of Ks, I took a bit of weed out there, a bit of this and a bit of that, and mm. I fucking went down there. I was painting a train on my own, and I must have got mash up because I fucking got scared. I thought there was, like, monsters in the bush, and I was too scared to get from the bush to the fucking wall. Mm. So I was like, hmm, what do I do? My car's there. <laughs> mm. Well, another time I went there with Yonks and as I've jumped over the wall, mm. two geezers have come out of the pub and they're lag boat and they think I've burgled someone's ass to see me jump over. He goes, oi, you just burgled someone. I was like, mate, no, I didn't. And my mate didn't back me up. He was like, you see, there's a bit of trouble. And he was ducking down behind the wall. I'm like, oi, mate, can't help me out here. Mm. But I, I explained to them, look, yeah, I'm a writer, look, paint, boom, 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 and they believed me in the end, but they wanted to beat me up. Yeah, you put yourself in some like dangerous positions, don't you? It's that time of night. It's that it's the it's the intention and going through different places. I guess you meet some unsavoury characters as well, don't you? Yeah, of course. But that's it. Yeah, but you're an unsavoury character yourself. I, well, I hope they think that anyway when they see you. <laughs> yeah, I do feel a bit unsavoury. I mean, this pixel, this pixelation isn't doing him any justice. He is quite a yeah, handsome I'm, chap. <laughs> I'm right. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much. I yeah. only let the best do for the podcast, That's Trap it, House. Man. No, no, this is amazing anyway, actually, coming on and actually saying my bit, man. Yeah, you're you loving know? it, yeah. Mm. I mean, I really appreciate you coming on, honestly. It's uh, like I say. Um, all right, let's get into it then. So, as, uh, as things develop, how did you get into TKS? Like I say, just going out there painting with... Uh, you know, like bombs and tuba and that, moving with them, you know, you don't get let in straight away, you know, like I had about a year and a half before I was even letting any crews moving with these people every day. Yeah. Because I think you've got to earn it, you know what I mean? Yeah, what they call it, they call it, the, 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 the Hells Angels call it prospects. So you got to be a prospect. Yeah, 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 you got, yeah, you got to worth it. Like, like I got yeah. let in SMC, like only recently, yeah. but I've put my work in and put SMC up hard, like, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I've never asked to be in the crew, never. Never. You've been, no, you've never, been never. I, don't, I don't think that's the done thing, is it? Even you had Teach come on and say that the other day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because yeah, I think they're the rules you're supposed to go by, you know? Yeah. Mm. You've got to earn your stripe. That's You've got to earn your stripes. And that's why nowadays I'm, I'm a bit, I'm not, I'm not a wanker. I just, if I see something, a good spot, and someone's got it, and they ain't been writing longer than me, I'll take it out. Mm -hmm. Especially Cartel. He gets the ump, but, you know, what can we do? Um, it, that's That's part of the. The process, isn't it, of being, of, of going up the ladder? Of yeah, building it up. Like, hang on, I've put the work in. I've done it. You know, I've, I still paint the trains. I painted a train the other night. I painted a train. I painted three trains about a month ago. I didn't even have a camera to take a phone photo. Wow. But you know, isn't it? you know, I paint. Yeah, she knows I paint them trains. Go out there. So I'll see you later, Jane. All by that time, listen. I left her house about Tuesday. It was a Tuesday morning, about four o'clock. It was summer, so it was daylight. I went to go and paint on the tracks. Gone down there, painting by our station. Train comes rolling in properly slow. And I get eye-to-eye -eye contact with the train driver. I think, oh, it's just a shunt, shunter driver. Ain't going to, you know, mean nothing. Mm. About 20 minutes later, I hear, woo, 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 woo. I'm thinking, Tuesday morning, hatch end. There ain't going to be no one else there coming for And as it was getting closer, it stopped. And I could see the blue flashing lights has gone past and into the station, like, looking for me. So this now, I've climbed up the wall, jumped off the wall, but as I jumped off the wall, I broke my fucking heel. Can what? you imagine that? Yeah, I broke my fucking heel, landed on the floor, threw my bag of paint in the bush, hopped across the road, threw my puffer over a uh, fence, 
And then I made it down to the roundabout and I couldn't walk no more. That's how fucked my foot was. So I'm sitting on this roundabout. Now, BTP have come and they've seen me. They see me sitting on the floor and they pulled up and they goes, oh, excuse me, um, we've got someone matching your... And they said, first, where have you come from? I said, oh, mate, I've, I've been walking all night from Uxbridge, like just walking down the Uxbridge Road. He goes, oh, we've had... You ain't been on the train tracks. We had someone matching, you know, shorts and that. I said, train tracks, mate, what are you mad? Like, I can't even fucking walk. I said, listen, my bird lives on the next road. Can you just give me a lift to the next road? It's one more road, please. They're like, look, mate, we're, we're looking for someone. We're, we're busy, you know. I was like, mate, please, just give us a lift next road. Next road, that's it. And they was trying to jog me on. Instead of me jogging them on, they like, nah, mate, we're, we're, we're busy. We're looking for someone, like. And then mm. they left me there on the side of the road. This is BTP. They're looking for me, but they don't know. But even madder, two weeks later, me, Soak and No get caught. Well, they get, they get caught by BTs in Watford Junction. I was living at Noakes. I've gone to Noakes' house waiting for him to come back. He, he ain't come home, he's got nicked. So I, I slept in, fuck it, I broke into the old Woolworths and slept in the fucking window display. Imagine that. What? Sleeping in the fucking Woolworths. It had a little bit of that white stuff on the window, but you could still see me. Anyway, so I keep waking up, go and see if, like, Noak's been, uh, come home. Go round, it's the two BTP that fucking pulled up at the, at the roundabout the other night. So anyway, I didn't show my face, just like, you know, but that, that was them raiding his house. Took all my paint, all my sketches, even took your Sony phone, you know, that white one? Mm -hmm. I don't know, you gave me a phone and they took that. I don't know, well, one of them they took, innit? Well, yeah, that's that, that was that story, innit? <laughs> well, but, go? I, yeah, I got away with that anyway, nicely. It's just the... Just the, I mean, I, I, my mind went for a minute there into the situation. I mean, it's unthink for, for starters as a non-writer. It's actually uh, that, that, it, that is that is pure story, and I can't quite get my head around how you managed that. Oh, mate, it's mad. Like this, this the is situation, the, so it's quite a. You got to deal with it as it comes, like you know. And is that the bit you like though? Do you like the bit? Do you like the it, chaos? It, it, well, I suppose so, but you just got to front it hard, like, you know, the more you, you don't give a fuck, I think the more you get away with. That's it, it seems to be for me. Like, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, that, okay, yeah, yeah, there is a, there's a saying, isn't it? Less fucks you give, the more happy you, you are. Like, yeah, blatant is best or something. Blatant is best. Yeah, you never heard of that one? Yeah, no, I haven't. That's what, so, okay, so in the situation... Brother, Torchman. Wow. Ever gave me that the other day. So, so, we're, so with, um... With the Woolworth situation, you're in the window. Like, do you have like an inner body moment where you're just like, oh, this is great, isn't it? No, it was fucking cold, mate. <laughs> no, right? that's what I'm it's saying. Like, it's like, I'm... that shit ain't fun. Yeah, 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 I suppose. I think, oh, look, I look like a cunt sitting here, like I'm lying in the fucking window display. And then these two other homeless people, they must have clocked that the door was open and they, they tried their luck. But I tried to pretend I was the security for the, the Woolworths. So, like, no, no, mate, out you get, out you get. Then, like, they fucked off. And when I've gone out, they must have seen me gone and they fucking come back in and like moved into my little plot. They put a little fucking tent up and everything inside this old Woolworths. Oh, listen, good for them, I tell you. Like, it's not the time yeah. of the year to. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. But I pretended that I was, I was like, oh, yeah, no, that's cool, it's cool. Don't worry, I got you, innit? You, you have to go out by, yeah. by Monday morning, you know yeah. what I mean, mate? Because otherwise, yeah. my boss will have a go, but it was really, it was my it's spot. Hilarious, yeah. My Some spot. Robin Hood shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, I'm letting you in. But, 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 oh, keep yeah, but yeah, yeah, but don't, yeah, hold it down, innit? Mm. Um, tell me the story because this is actually the first time I've ever had anyone in the anyone in the podcast that uh, actually got hit by a train and survived. Oh, don't yeah, that's mad. Uh, let, let's uh, get a little bit close, not that close, but you know. yeah, I got hit by a train. <laughs> uh, no, no, listen, no, basically it was it was most fucked up thing. Can you imagine just waking up in a hospital, all BTP around you? I didn't know what happened, and all I know was in so much pain. And I thought they'd beat me up or something when they... I said, oh, mate, that was fucking well uncalled for. What'd you do that for, you wankers? Like, yeah. And it weren't until the next day I realised what, what happened, didn't it? There yeah. was the doctors that said, no, mate, your injuries, mate, you blatantly got hit by a train. And when wow. they put two and two together, they realised I did, yeah. Can you imagine that, though? Well, so yeah. explain it. Right, we are... I know this might hurt, right? Yeah. No, I'm so saying... you tell me when to stop prodding. No, keep going. Right, so when you... How? <laughs> so many questions. Right, so you got hit by a train. Where, whereabouts were you positioned in the grand scheme of things when you saw the train? 
Well, I didn't see it. I don't remember. Well, nothing. yeah. All right. Well, well, basically, <laughs> right, so we established that. All right. By my by my injuries, we come to the conclusion. I must have been walking down to the train tracks with the tracks to my right. Yeah. The trains come from behind me. It ain't hit me full on. It's caught my side. That's yeah. why I broke every rib on my right, my shoulder, my pelvis. Coming towards you or from no, behind? No, must be from behind, behind yeah. yeah. And and a collapsed lung. And do you know the worst thing about it? Do you remember we were saying she was in hospital? Yeah. She's going, oh my God, the most hurtful, most painful thing I've ever had to deal with is a chest drain. This is me. I'm thinking in my head, oh, sweet, I'm never going to have to have a chest drain. So anyway, we're in the hospital and the woman's like, oh, mate, your lung and that, uh, we might have to give you a chest... I said, chest drain? No, 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 no. We give it a couple of chest days. Chest drain. Chest drain. Yeah. Where they? Where they? Oh, they wire it out and they tube oh, it out. Mate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they put the guide wire through there, up, up th- from behind you, into your lung, into your side. I got a big scar side, there. Yeah. He must have one as well. And then up and then round oh, oh, and into your lung to get the air out. Yeah. Yeah. And when, and did, when it did pop, it went. Yeah. What, okay. So you, what you want it to pop and let the air come out. Yeah, but it's that fucking bit moving around, like, it don't matter how... Yeah. It what's it feel like? Is it like... Whoa. It feels sore, mate. The, and you can feel it inside? You and can shit? feel it moving around. Oh, oh mate, it... Listen, oh, and I was saying oh. to the woman, I said, oh, look, are you sure? Can't we give it another day just to... Because it weren't going, it weren't fixing by itself. And oh, fuck me, did that hurt. I was screaming. They heard me on the next floor in the hospital. Oh. They heard me scream. Oh. Oh. What was it like when it popped though and the air came up? Oh, it felt good. That it felt, felt good. good, yeah. But then I had to carry this bucket around with all this thing. But it What's was the my... thing? What's the thing that's in it? It's not my blood, isn't it? Or was it all, okay. this... it was all the fluid that's in it? So it's fluid, thing. blood, and a mixture of no, no. stuff. It's just a shit. If you get oh, well, there, yeah, that's probably when he, when it popped, it went. Right. And it felt like good. Right. But well, was, was it like kind of uh, pressure oh, off? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's what it was all pressure building how did you, up. How, how did that happen from the impact of the train? Fuck knows, mate. Right. Obviously, yeah, yeah. All my all my ribs broke. Every right rib was broke because that's what I must say. It's hit me from the back. It's broken my shoulder, yeah. my pelvis, yeah. all my right ribs, and that's collapsed my lung and tore a couple of arteries in the in the thing. Yeah. But do you know what? One night I woke up in the hospital and it was burning and I thought I was dying. I'm going, help. I'm pressing the button, help, I'm dying, I'm dying. Wow, wow, wow. I, and no one was fucking listening. I'm going, I'm yeah. And then the woman was like, no, no, you're not, you're not. I said, no, I'm dying, I'm fucked. I made them get the x-ray machine up. They were so pissed off that they had to come in the middle of the night with a fucking mobile x-ray machine. And it was just me fucking got a bit worried. It? Like, it wasn't even nothing to worry about. Uh, you got hit by a train, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. You, <laughs> like, you can be worried. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, fuck what? Like, no. how did you get yourself out of that situation? So you were hit by a train... Mate, because the more I say is the more it's going to hot me up a bit. But anyway, right, right, I yeah, watched yeah, the yeah. body cam footage the other day when I had to go to British Transport, please. The cunts made me fucking walk along the platform and up the fucking stairs. I said, mate, that's a bit uncalled for. I'm fucking like half dead here, mate. Just been done by a fucking train. And you mate, yeah, yeah, but we didn't know if you were suicidal. Fucking hell, I'm dead anyway, bruv. Like, I'm fucked up. Made me walk all the way up the fucking stairs. But they covered themselves by saying, oh, yeah, yeah, we thought you were suicidal. Like, Cheers, mate. Thanks. But they didn't really give a shit. No, but you, oh, you know what? Listen, fuck it. This is me. Oh, my heart, my heart. Yeah, and I'm holding. I'm holding the other side, innit? Yeah. And, and the copper's like, oh, oh. your heart's on the other side. Oh, and you could hear me breathe like because you're like, clapping. Yeah, yeah, got all fucking shit. I'm going my heart, and they're all laughing at me. Cunts. Can you imagine it? He's going, no, your heart's on the other side, but it doesn't matter. I've got a pain somewhere in me. I'm fucking... No, because I drank a whole bottle of whiskey. That was actually... I think I missed, I missed that bit out, didn't I? Did, do you think that helped remedy the, the, the impact? Did you, did you still... No, that caused the fucking impact. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is a lesson to, to those out there. So trust me, like... Do not drink that bottle of whiskey, mate. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but in terms of, like, impact and stuff, did it really settle in your head? Or was the, were you too I drunk? I, to... I didn't know. This could be all you know. can't remember. Listen, listen, this is all I remember was I was going to sell burglar some pens, yeah? And we were going from West London to East London. And the last thing I could remember was we'd already gone through Central London on a train. The next thing you were in hospital? Next thing I know, I'm in hospital, yeah. And the cunt who I was with, supposed to be mate, fucking left me off. And, and the funny thing was, this same person, it was his birthday on the weekend, right? He was pissed out his night. He nearly fell on the train tracks. And I actually thought, you know what? 
I should just let you get on with it and let you fall on the train tracks, but I'm not that sort of person. So I made sure he got all the way home. Because you don't leave your mates. Right, if I was drunk that night, sorry, I had the issue. Like, I was like, what can you come off things? Like? Mm, I see. <laughs> yeah, fucking. So I made a point of taking this geezer all the way home, which I, I did. But he didn't take me home that night. And then, oh, I don't know. Yeah, he put the fucking phone through her letterbox and run off. <laughs> Man. So he knew he'd done wrong, but he hadn't known I got hit by a train. I didn't know I got hit by a train. No one knew I got hit by a train till the next day. Fucked up, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, for those of you that don't get the disclaimer, this is the real deal. Yeah, don't. This is what can fucking happen to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is a, someone who lived to tell the tale. You know I'm Which saying? I'm very lucky, really, you know. Yeah. How many people get hit by a train and you can say, yeah, yeah, I got hit by a train. Yeah. Not it's a biggie or nothing, you know. It's a fucking dickhead's move, right? Like. Nah, Look at them three it's... lads, innit? What was their yeah, ones? Yeah, Love, yeah, Trooper bag. and yeah, K-Bag. Yeah. yeah. And Krell, big Krell, big Krell, FKF, you know. Mm. Lost but his whole life. These other people, they're going out on their fucking earphones down train tracks, innit? You can't be mm. there. That's why you should always walk with the train coming towards you. I was that fucked. Like, obviously, I was walking with the train coming behind me. What a dickhead, innit? Like, Mm. Me and Ever was walking down the tracks the other night and we was like, I'll oh, make sure we're walking on the track that the train's coming towards you. So if you get hit by it coming towards you, then you're a real dickhead. <laughs> Imagine. Well, uh, you know, look, I, 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 I would be a novice if I was to suggest that otherwise, but to be fair, yeah, I mean, it, uh, you you just got to go with you. I guess a level of common sense. I love fucking playing on train tracks, man. I still do it now. I've got, I got a station right by my house. I'll go down there and just paint it. I've, I've painted the same spot about 20 times in the last six months. Could you arguably proclaim that yours? Like, if, if they must know that you're going to show up and do it again. Like that's... Well, that's what I worry about sometimes. I went there the, actually the other night and I got a funny feeling like, no, I don't do this. I wanted to paint, but, you know, sometimes you just want to paint, innit? Yeah. And I thought, do you know what? I had a funny feeling. When you got that funny feeling, always listen to it because you'd be a cunt, like, you know, half hour later, I think... Why didn't I listen to myself? Look what's happened. You know, if you get caught, whenever you always listen to your gut instincts, and then if it says go or forget it, abort mission and fuck off. It's a Russian always, roulette game, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's always better to get home than get hit by a train or get nicked. Mm. Getting home is better than either of them to any day of the week. Yeah. How much of this is habitual, and how much of this is? Do you, is there anything like where you're like, yo, I, I need it? Oh, I'm only saying this from point of view, like as as as, as a a presenter of a show and mm. I've got to, you know, keep my, my moral pitch in. Yeah. Do you, is there anything like where you're just like, yo, like, would make you stop after the fact that this has happened? Like, what drives you on to do that? Well, listen, if you don't stop after getting hit by a gizzard snap, get, get hit by a, um, a train, yeah. what's going to make you stop? Oh, Give us a snap, don't Well, that's kind of... Please. Sorry. That's that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah. What, nah, what, nah, what made nah, you want to, like, to, I'm going to keep doing graph? Like, I don't... Do you know what? It's funny you actually say that because ever, he, he, he has this thing in his head. He's like... Oh, I don't want to go on tracks by myself just in case I get hit by a train. So and no one, you don't know. No, ever, ever saying like yeah. he don't want to go on tracks on his own. Yeah. Just in case he gets hit by a train and no one finds him. <laughs> well, luckily I was right at the end of a station when I got hit by my train. Mm. <sighs> and when I see the when I see the body cam footage, man, that that, that fucked me up, man. See me all like mashed up like. <laughs> Or could you see like you were kind of concaved a bit and well, just you could see battered? I was right by the fucking... And the, the, the cops didn't want to come down. They go, no, oh, is the electricity off? Is the electricity off? But that was me. I was all like, mm. And the geese even said I had a patchy beard, man. What the fuck? Look, I'm trying to... What, as in like where you got cooked or where... It's just, no, I've just got a patchy <laughs> fucking beard, innit? <laughs> well, you wouldn't know this because he's... Uh, he's oh, pixelated. Yeah. He's Looking a, good, though. Yeah, Looking pixelation good. for the nation. Um... Bro, I kind of just... You're the first person that's come on here that I I genuinely feel like you're not going to stop until you die. Do you know what? I wrote that on Instagram the other day. I don't think I will, mate. It's really keeping me going at the moment, is the graph. It really is. It really is. I stopped for, like, 15 years, you know? Yeah, I know, but you're back... You're... It's almost think, like you, you're, you're, it's, it's in your DNA. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, no, I really think if you're a real writer, you're a writer to your day. Look at Zonk and that, you know. I was just chatting to him a minute ago, like, you know, he's a writer for life. Mm. Name, writer for life. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. And, uh, you know, these are, these are but it's people funny, that have all been on the listen, show. Listen, the, the bonds you make with these people, 
you don't even have to see them for 15, 20 years. You are still them brothers when you see each other. It's, it, it's an unconditional love when you're in a crew and you, you've done them missions together. You've been out and you're them mates, you know? Mm. It's mad. you really got each other. I've met so many people through life, but writer mates are above all, you know what I mean? It's really mad. It's mad. Certainly, certainly one of the most dedicated that I've been on it to this day. We're almost the same age, you we know are, what I mean? Yeah. What, was I a little bit older than you? Yeah, like by yeah. about three months or something. Yeah, yeah, nothing much, innit? Um, and I would be, um, I, I, I would be hypocritical, but particularly for the age that we share, that, you know, in my <coughs> career with doing the music and the beatboxing mm, and stuff, mm. if someone was to say to me, hey, stop doing that or you're going to lose your throat, or stop doing that or you're going to break something... I, it wouldn't have de- it. It wouldn't determine well, it's like smoking, that. isn't it? They say smoking yeah. is going to give you cancer. I fucking smoke every day. But I, you know, I, I like it actually. But it wouldn't deter me, and that's the thing. Well, it it's, don't deter you, does it? No, because I mean, do and that, but that's the thing, isn't it? Like, <coughs> it's because you you like it. It gives you something that something else don't doesn't give, give you. you. Yeah. What do you think it doesn't give you? What what thing doesn't give you the thing that graft does? What don't give me the thing that graft. Uh, that's a, that's a cryptic one, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, what is the thing that doesn't give you the thing that Graf does? Yeah. I don't know, whatever I ain't doing. I, I'm not into like, you know, I'm never into that mixing or, you know, like where you lots into the music and that. Yeah. That was never me, you know? We used to go back to people's, oh, let's go around Matey Boy's house to have a mix. You know, like, oh, Matey Boy's got decks, we'll have a mix. I was never into that. I didn't mm. give a fuck. I used to go to my mate's house and they'd be mixing and we'd be doing drugs. And but you were like, fuck it, I don't care. I didn't really give a fuck about that, you know, like. No, no. You like the odd gig, though. You told oh, me you went to a couple of gigs. Oh, of course, of course, I like music, but I don't like... Like Nirvana and all that? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like doing it, like, you know, mixing or yeah. or emceeing and all that. Yeah, I like emceeing and that. Like, when I hear people emceeing and that, you know, it's yeah. good. But I was never really into that music sort of thing. Just, just like, music's for listening to, not for making to me, innit? So what is graph to you? I don't know. It's me hobby. It's your hobby? It's me hobby, <laughs> I don't. I don't mean that funny. Like, is, it, yeah. is it art? Is it the creative side of no, you coming no. out? I suppose it's the creative side of me coming out. But I'm not an artist. Like if you look at, like I say, I can't do characters. I can't do wild styles. I can't do. I just do nice letters and nice colours. I tried to do a character review. Do you remember? I got the eyes wicked though, didn't I? Well, I done them eyes. What? You didn't think that was good? <laughs> Fuck me! You fucking said it did look like you, man. Easy, easy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is, <laughs> honestly, trust me. Oh, sorry, it is. Trust sorry. me, I can't, I, what's his name? Not Jeremy Kyle. Uh, who's the other one? The one, Kilroy. Here's yeah. the go, Kilroy Mo. Straight to the audience, please. Yeah, do you remember? <laughs> so, no, I'm really sure, mate. Um, uh, mate, no, no it's, it's good anyway. Yeah, she's shit hot at art as well, mate, you know? It's interesting, isn't it, how us uh, us creatives that we we lean pretty heavy on creative uh, equivocals of our, of opposite sex, don't we? Like you know, I get inspired by stuff like that. You know, when you got a girl that's creative and all that business, well, she, she's know? amazing at art. Like, and yeah. it's it's nice to see. You know, like I, I can't do what she does. Oh, she can't do what I do. But yeah. you know, like that's, that's, that's it. But you got to have that mutual respect and big up people for what they're good at. When they got something good, big them up. Mm. Are you a fan of street art? Are that kind of juxtaposition of, of Do you know what? I, I won't go down that road and say that I like all of that stuff. I think either you're a writer or you're an artist. Mm. And that art stuff, yeah, I appreciate it, big it up. Yeah. I can't do it. Maybe that's probably why, because I can't do it. I can't do nothing good like that. But I respect it. But no, it's but not you're defeating. doing endurance is a whole... This is the thing. It's, it's a difference between, I guess, right, here's my... Here's my clinical analysis. I think perhaps it's a difference between acoustic and electric. It's like your what you're doing with graph. It's more industrious. What do you play the guitar? No, but, but my point being is like oh. graffiti, as in the the legal side of it, is a lot more. It's got a lot more electric to it. It's got more danger to it. It's got a lot more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's writing to me. Yeah, yeah. going going and doing a legal on a, a Sunday afternoon is yeah, that's all right. It don't really make you a writer. I see. You know, going buying your paint really don't make you a writer. You might be able to do something good, but being a writer is going out there, doing the trains, doing the, the tags, doing everything. Mm. She hates tagging. Enough people hate tagging, innit? But it's part and parcel of it. That's what's getting your name known as well, you know? Mm-hmm. And to some people, a tag is beautiful. I love a tag, a good tag. Do you feel like you're holding a flag for, for the most raw, on-the-ground... Real 
side of graph that maybe... Oh, that's what I, ho I hope I'm holding that flag, mate, because I'm showing that, you know, if you're a writer, you are a writer to the end, fucking... But another thing is, I ain't really been bagged. You know that? No. I got caught twice in one week in 96. Twice in one week. Can you imagine that? I was tagging a bus stop and a mm. copper, uniform copper, tagged me on, tagged me on the shoulder. I was getting a tag. Didn't even see the geezer. Don't know where he come from. Mm. And I finished off my tag before I even turned around to see who was tapping me on the shoulder. I got nicked on my lunch break. On here, I said to you at the start of the, the <coughs> podcast. Excuse me. Yeah. I said to you at the start of the podcast. Because we'd only just met. Yeah, of course. And you were like... But we got mutual friends, which has boosted oh, that's right, that that, That's yeah, right, yeah. that's right. But respectfully, I, I was like, is there anything you don't want to talk about? And you were like, no. I, I don't give a fuck. Don't really care. Like, no, I told, like, listen, we're talking about business, so let's talk real business, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, that's no, all, no yeah. No fucking skipping bits out. But the, the reason why I bring that up is because if somebody, for somebody that's not been gripped before or bagged before for anything, does that not put fear... Do you not? Does that no? No, it says I'm doing something right. Follow me. Don't follow them because you're going to get bagged. If you would have followed no consult that night, you would have gone straight to BTP. If you would have followed me, you would have got away. There you go. Mm. That's good. Good. Mm. Uh, is that an analogy? It's an analogy. There yeah, you go. For real. Yeah. If you would have followed them too, you'd got fucked and got fucking nicked and your house raided. If you would have followed me, you would have slept the night in Woolworths. No, 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 no. Um, did it, did, has it, has it, as much as you've nearly come to death on a couple of occasions, mm. do, do you think it saved your life, the graph? I did see someone say that on one of your things. Yeah, I find it, it an interesting question because do you know, people do it, often. It does, it, it did, it did. It's, it's, that's probably why I'm doing it so much now at the moment, where I'm having so much shit in my life, it's something I can just fuck it, get out of the house, go and do a painting, Come back home, and fuck it. You want to do another painting in another two hours and it make you feel a little bit better? Go and do that. So you're having trouble right now, so this is a kind of remedy, it kind of ex exudes, it stops like a thing being pent up and you release. Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose. It's like playing the drums. I play the drums, but I ain't got a drum kit to play on at the moment, you know, to you know, mm. let it all out. It's a different kind of um, energy as well. Yeah. I mean, I don't, you know, that's a, it's a different it's kind nice. of thing. I love going out there and painting, even on my own. I think that's what makes a good writer... It's commitment and going out on your own. Mm. If, if you see a writer going out there on their own, I'll go, I'll go out there with anyone and paint with people, but if you go out there on your own, that's commitment. Mm. You think, mm. no? Mm, yeah, well, yeah. hey, listen, that's dedication. Yeah. And that, that, that also suggests that, that um, this, as a habit, as a thing you want to do, yeah. as a thing that gets you out of your seat and remedies and, and a do problem. Something. Yeah, yeah, take your take mind off something. I remember, listen, there's one night, there's me and Idea and Zonk, and we're at Idea's house in, when he lived in Golders. I was like, listen, boys, come on. It's like 3 in the morning. Let's go and do fucking Golders. Like, Idea was like, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, um... It's not, yeah. I'm going to have to get rid of that. It's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Said fucking... He was all half up for it, and then, um... And then he bottled it, but I was already on it. So I was like, see you later, boys. I'm mm. off. And gone. But another, well, I'll tell you another night, me and Idea. Me and Idea had gone to his mum and dad's house, yeah? Mm. His dad was really ill just before he died. And on the way back, we were tagging up everywhere down Tottenham. Mm. All right, next thing I know, I wake up at six o'clock in the morning. I'm on the side of the North Circular, blood coming out of my fucking head, everything. I'm like, what the fuck? I, I borrowed my dad's car. I lost my dad's car for a week. I didn't know where it was. I didn't have a clue. I woke up and I had Wild Bean Cafe thing in my pocket. like. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I got caught racking in Wild Bean Cafe and run off and left the car there. So me and her, we gone back the next Hold day. Hold on, you like, got blood on your head? You yeah, had blood on your... I had blood pouring out my head. I don't know what happened. To it. I woke up on the side of the North Circular, four miles was from where I was. Was someone hit you or something? I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Just woke up on at six o'clock in the morning but <laughs> on the North Circular Cook up in um, cat, East Finchley. And then I had no money on me, no nothing. So I've got I've got on the bus and I just looked at the bus woman driver. She see the blood, she goes, Oh, get on, you know what I mean? Sweet. So I got the bus to, to my kids' house because it was it was near. I thought, well, I'll go and knock on their house. And the mad thing was, about half an hour before I got there, some other geezer had turned up with blood coming out of his head at my kid's, <laughs> kid's mum's house. Can you imagine that? Second geezer turned up in the morning, like, turned up with blood on their head. 
Wow. You imagine that? Yeah, but anyway. So what was the car? Oh, I don't even know the car's another story, mate. We how many <laughs> we went about three nights looking for that car, didn't we? <laughs> Listen, I did sat in my car for two yeah, days. It was my dad's car. My, oh, I didn't know where the fuck it was. We were ringing up police. We rang up everyone. And do you know where we found the car? Where? I looked on Idea's Instagram and he took a picture of a, of a fucking road sign with Idea on it. I said, let's Google that. And we Googled it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't worry about that. But listen, so we Googled this fucking thing, went to this road, and God, my, there's my dad's car sitting there by the road sign with the Idea tag. But listen, the people in Pizza Hut next door, they was like, oh, you, you, you come back for your car. Your, <laughs> your friend, he sits in your car for two days. We, Who was we, in there? I did. Stop he, it. He, he sat in our car for two days. He thought I got nicked and got taken down to Tottenham. Because his phone had died, he couldn't charge up his battery. You boys are possessed, I swear oh, to mate, God. Oh, mate, it was mental. Oh, and, right. Like, They'd uh, given him pizza for the last two days, keeping him alive. That's amazing. I kind of... <laughs> Yeah, I know. Like, what did your mum and dad think? What do they think? Well, like, they wanted to know you... where their fucking car was. Yeah. So it was like, you found, you found my car? I was like, no. Nah, do they sorry. know what you do? They know you're you Of course they do. Yeah, they, must... they fucking know, yeah. yeah. yeah my dad's even said, like, I don't know. Not. It was fucking Cartel's fault. Listen, my dad picked me and Cartel up from the station one day. Me and Cart- Cartel's in the back. I'm in the passenger seat. My dad's taking us to, to his house to get something. And Cartel's like, yeah, yeah, snap. No. Yeah, yeah, snap. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah, snap. Oh, fuck, well, by the time we got home, my dad knew exactly who the fuck I was. He'd seen snap everywhere. I know you're I know you right, snap. Oh, sorry about that. That's all right. Fuck no, you're right, you're right. Is that you <laughs> phoning me? Um, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, turn it off. I have to off. say, like, oh, sorry about that. It, it was like a, this is like a new kind of induction for me as far as... Mate, the... we haven't even got started. I could tell you stories like madness stuff. But all of them contain, like... Real serious body blows, <laughs> like you've got. Oh, mate, my body's fucked, mate. I'm not even joking. Like, how far do day... you go? How far will you go? I mean, like I said, like I said from the jump, the back there. Uh, just to me, it feels like you're not going to stop till you're dead. Probably not. Listen to this. Me, Eva, and Rare. We was painting a train in Oxbridge, and just as we we we, we painted like two trains, we've come out. I've climbed up the fence. The fucking fence collapse. Only me, I end up on my fucking head, upside down in all this mud. Like, only me. I was like, oh, man, that fucking hurt. And them two are pissing themselves, like, oh, look. Yeah, it was funny. I would have been laughing if I see someone else land on their head, like. But it was just my luck. Like, when I put my weight on the fucking fence, the fence collapsed and straight on my head. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've developed, a, by the sounds of it, you've developed a lot of uh, uh, mental... Um, uh, gearing for this sort of shit. It doesn't seem to me that you, you don't, fa- you're not phased by anything, are you? No, not at all, mate. Not really. Not really. No, I don't really give a fuck about anything. That's how. That's my sort of seems to be my motto in life. So how far is too far then? Oh, I don't know. We ain't got there yet, innit? When we get there, you'll find out, innit? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't mean that badly, innit? But... <laughs> I don't want this to be no, the, the only documentation yeah, 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 of no, you, my no. brother. Yeah, but at least it's documented now. Yeah. No, I'm not joking anyway. But yeah, no, that's cool. But that's not even nothing. Oh, fucking hell, we used to go on some mad missions back in the day. And listen, I'll tell you a good one. Me and Zonk, we we were gone to paint a few trains at Edgeway, yeah? Yeah. This this is this is a mad story, yeah. So we're walking through the Broadwalk car park, which mm. is the, the shopping centre. I see my mate's car in the corner, like, and sort of Zonk knows them sort of a bit anyway. I was like, look, it's, it's matey boy's car. There's a beer on top of the roof. Like, I'm thinking, what the fuck? They ain't painting or nothing. They, they don't paint. I thought nothing of it anyway. We've jumped over the fence. We've gone, we painted a few trains in Edgeware Layup. This was before they extended the yard. And we painted about three trains. And there's one train sitting there right on the other side of the fence. <laughs> All it says is snap, Zonk, snap, Zonk. We weren't even dubbing. We was tagging. Jumped over the fence, jumped over the fence into this like sort of like alleyway park bit, and there's these two people there, a man and a woman. They're undercover old Bill, isn't it? And they're like, whoa, 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 what were you doing? Like coming out of the bush like that. And we're like, where, where, where? They come and like, you know, searched us. Found the spray cans, we've got a blue and a black on us, yeah? And there's a there's a train like literally about from here to there. Snap zonk, snap zonk, with in black and blue. 
and the old bill searched us and that, and they found my weed, but they didn't do nothing about the... Um, they didn't put two and two together about the paint. Mm. So anyway, I've got Nick for this weed. I got taken to West Hendon Police Station. This is how long ago it was. It was when police was driving Mark Three Fiestas. Oh, school. Yeah, it was about Enridge. Anyway, so we got taken... I got taken to... Uh, he got let off. Mm. Get taken to um, West Hendon Police Station... And the two policemen that have nicked me are in front of me with the spray cans. As they've gone into the custody, custody, my friend was sitting on the fucking bench with her mum. She's only about 15 as well. Mm-hmm. And she see the spray cans before she saw me. And she was like, immediately you thought of me. Mm-hmm. And then she sees me. And she's like, I'm like... Oh. And her mum has just been called out in the middle of the night to get a 15-year-old daughter from a police station. Not only has she just been arrested, but she knows the next person... To get arrested at a police station. Can you imagine? It's what? Bad. But anyway, no, like, it gets even funnier than this, yeah? I got caught for weed, yeah? And they, they obviously got caught for some weed. And uh, the police now know that I know the two that are in the cells as well, my, my mate Richard and my mate Sam. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, when they interviewed me, and the cops are like, yeah, you got weed, where did you get your weed? I said, oh, boy, it was some black guy with dreads on Camden Canal. He's like, oh, so you and I have got the same... Dealer, he'd only said the same fucking thing when they asked him where he got his fucking weed. <laughs> wow. But listen, it, it's like if you ask black people, they always say, yeah, some nutty, because some of my best mates are black, oh, some nutty white skinhead guy, you know, like, where we would say some black guy with dreads on Camden Canal. They say some nutty white skinhead guy, like. It's like oh, some unwritten kind of. Yeah, yeah, a little thing that, but I, I, I was just so funny though, the way, uh, the way the copper said to me, he goes, oh, so see so you and I've got the same dealer. I was like, oh, fucking hell, he said that too, innit? Yeah. <laughs> it was funny, man. Yeah, 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 but then sure. that's why we see the car in the car park. They'd got nicked in that car park where we got nicked. Can you imagine that? Them same people that are mm-hmm. sitting in the uh, police station. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, mate. Madness. But that, well, yeah, that was mad. So he managed to get home anyway. But I got nicked in West Hendon Police Station. Oh, so you have got bad before? But not for the... Uh, I no, not for graph, innit? I, I fucking got nicked with paint. There's a train there. They could have nicely done me up, but no. Nah. Mm. Got away with it sweetly. What a character. Oh, thank you. What That's a really fucking nice. character. <laughs> and and one that seldomly steps through the doors here. No, so, uh, yeah, like I say, it's nice to meet you, man. You know, because mm. I've, I've watched a few of them, you know, and it's nice. It's, it's nice to actually That's say your story. Me, man. Yeah. No, I'm humbled. <laughs> You're humbled. <laughs> no, you know, the humble. Everyone's humble these days. <laughs> hold tight, the humble hold, group. Hold tight, ever. <laughs> you know, I got bigger, and I got. Listen, I got to big up a few people. The people I paint with. Do Car- it. Uh, Pedro, mm-hmm. you seen Pedro? No. Oh, Pedro's geezer I paint with the most. Okay, right. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. He, he's, he's not been here. No, carry oh, on. no, no. He ain't. Yeah, he definitely yeah. ain't been here. But he's one of the geezers I, I paint with every week. Big up. Uh, we we make sure up, Pedro, we go out. Yeah. We make sure we paint every week, you know, cartel. Cartel, hold tight. Even mm. though it was his fault, I got hit by a train. Wanker. No, no I'm joking. Um, yeah, a few other people, big up. Every, every, big up everyone, rare, ever, you know. All those that forget, mate. I'm not joking, anyway. And, and lastly... In, oh, mate, I'm fucking in, sweating. Yeah, no, trust Sorry, me, man. I'll put you through the paces in this podcast no, game, man. The, the trap meaningful. house is real. Um, but for real, I, I, I do appreciate you coming through. No, I appreciate you having me on me. It's, it's amazing to actually say something. And you know what? There's so much, I, you know, you, it's true what um, Idea said. He said, you forget what to say when you get here, you know what I mean? Nah, man. I've, the way I see these things is it's purely documentation. And what happens is, what happens is the, the tapestry that the talk, conversation that you've said on your podcast relates to other things in a podcast. And what you've got is, an, is a definitive it's like history. A jigsaw, basically. It's a history. And it's a man that putting the bits together yeah. and then you have a big, yeah. you know, a collage. Because you have to understand, right? And I know you do, you know, with the ever-turning evolution of Graph, um, a lot of the people that created from the ground up, they they get forgotten about through technology. Oh, of course, for, yeah, yeah, because so, they're not here doing it now. There's not no. many people from my generation still painting, you know? Like, mm. and it's and, important that this gets documented, like yeah. for, for prosperity, for for the future of, of urban arts, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where I'm coming from. It just has to be, or else the icons, the kings, the people that deserve the truest, you know, the truest... Recognition, yeah. yeah they, they get forgotten about, and it's the newer people that... 
Oh, yeah. Hold tight, Mish, and hold tight, Ruby. The most beautiful girls in graffiti at the moment. Hold tight. Do you know about them? No, I just told them. Oh, there you go. I never know, no, you know. Look out for them. My brother. They're both in my crew as well, NSV. They, they both put up NSV. Yeah. Well, you never seen Mish and Ruby? Girl graffiti writers. One's in New York, yeah. one's in London. Um, Ruby. I've, yeah, Ruby I've seen. New, yeah, yeah, New York. New yeah. York, yeah. Blimey. Nice. Yeah. So what are you saying? We're good. More? My brother. We're going to leave it there? Yeah, I think I think no. so. We'll have to do a part no. two or something. We'll do another one or, or another time. Get me and a couple of the others that we've had before and do a little group one. Yeah. Because you know what? We oh. bounce off each other. It's like they'll remember stuff I don't remember and I'll remember that's stuff. That's a later. fucking great... That, that's what I was saying. I was going to actually do it with someone else, like either idea or zonk, because, you know, you can bounce off each other and... That's a great idea. It's a thing for the future. That's a great idea. This is introductory. That's a great idea. Yeah, have a little group one, you know. You know us all, you know. Just Love just, just it. Love it. All right, we're all right. in. Wait, you go. Oh, safe. gee, snap aside the place. Killer Keller podcast, doing it like that, all right? Big shout to everybody sharing his caring. Nicking his lighter, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, is that yours? Hey! I'm fucking off nicking his light, I can <laughs> Right, I'll leave this, uh, this, all right, this and... Jeremy Carlin moment. You stay lucky, people, all right? Take care. Thank you for all joining right. us. Peace.